Previously on the bill. There you go. We're in the clear. Yeah, you are. I've still got a rape allegation to deal with. You tell me what you've got, and you tell me no. You'd have thought at least one of the cameras would have shown you deserting your post. Well, one camera did. your way in. He's not answering. All right, would you like to tell us what this is all about? The government spooks, that's what. He's got surveillance equipment out there, all right? All right, yeah. all right, I'll have a word with him. Well, not the Russians this time, mate. Yeah, of course not. I've kept a diary. If you don't believe me, look. Clear away, you. He's a menace. All right, Mr. Michaels. Do you have any idea what he's referring to? Here. Here, this, this, read this. This will make some sense of it. Yeah, we're very lucky that you got you to keep an eye on things. Come on. Yeah. It's an old CB radio set. Mr. Michaels is a retired truck driver, keeping his hand in. Well, then we could take a look. No, I... no, no. I think we've got Mr. Michaels enough for today, don't you? Well, you ain't even going to check. Oh, I know. Yeah, too busy with your, your mucky little scandals. Yeah, yeah, look. Someone died. Someone died because you lot were so busy chucking mud at each other. Yeah, well, I wouldn't believe everything you read in the paper. Go on. I could kill whoever wrote that article. Yeah. Me too. Kerry. Kerry. Just leave me alone. I want to know if you're all right. No offence, Gabriel, but seeing as I don't know who I can trust at the moment, I think it's better I don't speak to anyone. You're talking about this, right? Well, I didn't do it. We're looking after each other, remember? So tell me, how are you coping? Oh, great. You know, great. It was bad enough the whole relief finding out. Now the whole world knows. No. At least they didn't mention any names. Well, I don't think it's going to take long for the rest of the station to work out who this is about. I'll sniff around. See if I can find out who did all this. PC Kent. Uh, and this the female changing room? Yes, ma'am. Off you go. We need to have a little chat. You just take this one easy, mate. I'll do the talking. Look, mate, I'm called to hit the ground running, you know. Don't worry about it. You just watch and learn. Miss Black. I'm PC Best. This is PC Lance Powell. And you're on the job this morning. Yeah, well, I found the gate forced open when I got in this morning. What, are you the owner, yeah? No, no, no. Mr. Leonard was in a conference last night in Birmingham. I've tried his mobile, but it's not answering at the moment. Can you tell us what's missing? Yeah, um, two transit vans and a 4x4 four four pickup truck. These are in the safe there. Didn't hold them up for long, did it? What about the alarm? Well, I set it, same as I do every night. These are tricky to disable. They'd need a staff code. There's nothing that can't be beat. You'll learn that. Hey, I notice you've got some CCTV. Can I have a look at the tapes, please? Yeah. Yeah, I'll get them for you. What's going on? Mr. Leonard. Afraid you've had a burglary, mate. You're joking. No, there's three vehicles missing. <sighs> I don't believe it. You all right? Yeah. Yeah, I had a few too many last night. Now. You know, idea who did this? Well, not yet. You know. Seems they took the tapes with them. <laughs> Whoever it was, they're not making it very easy for us. Can you tell me exactly who knew about you and Smith here? Yvonne and Gabriel were the first to know, then Honey, then everyone else involved in the debrief, so Cameron, Andrea, Gary and Tony, I think that's it. Can you give me any reason why one of those officers might want to take a pop at you? Not unless they're completely messed up in the head, Mum. So you get on well with all of them? Yeah, I suppose so. Go on. Well, Yvonne and I didn't hit it off at first, but I'm fairly sure it's not her. And PC Kent, you seem to have a lot to say to each other just now. He was just making sure I was okay, Mum. I don't think that it was him that went to the papers. Well, you seem to know it isn't. There were lots of journalists outside yesterday. Did you see anyone talking to them? No. Didn't see anyone acting suspiciously. Right, thanks for your help. Is that it? Well, not quite. Now the story's in print. We need you to decide whether you're going to make the allegation official or not. 
With all this garbage out there, it's quite hard to think clearly. Then I think the best thing that you can do is to go home, take a few days and think about what you're going to do, and hopefully when you come back, you can give me an answer. Off you go. This is all we managed to get from a council camera outside the depot. Ooh. Right, now the camera points north, so you only get one direction, yeah? Man in a dark red jacket heading south. Ten minutes later, there, pick up. 7.20 in the morning, no licence plates. That's one of the stolen vehicles. Where are the transits? Well, they must have gone the other way. Now, the road stays clear for about 20 minutes or so. Then there, a miraculous reappearance. What's it like being puppy walked by Sherlock Holmes in, eh? Gary's been teaching me a lot. <laughs> How do we find him? That's a Blakey's uniform. Exhaust fitters and covers the road. They fixed my silencer. Fancy a visit? I can't. I've got a seminar at the yard. Have fun, mate. Right, take a still for identification. Ken? Yeah, I'll be there, yeah. Right, and uh, anything else you want to know, you know, just ask. I've got a question. Who's this about? I don't know you, that the detectives. You work it out. Come on, man. Mm. Uniform of closed ranks, then? Five to the first one who can come up with a verifiable name. Oh, well, you're joking. Come on, Ken. You know, that is just tasteless, you know that? Tenor. OK, you're on. I'll keep an eye on things here. See what I can find out. There can't be too many of a trade the relief. OK, how are you feeling? Angry? I just wanted to put it behind me, and now it sounds like the world and his dog knows. Look, maybe it's better it's out in the open, you know, make the allegation official. Inspector Gold's told me to go home and think about it, Yvonne, that's what I'm going to do. You mean you haven't made it official? No. Why not? Because I've been through a lot in the last couple of weeks with Smithy and the bomb explosion and everything, and I just thought it would be easier to forget about it and move on. And judging by the reaction of everyone in the relief to the newspaper article, I think it's going to make my life a lot simpler if that's what I do. Forget about the newspaper article, or what people are saying. If Smithy raped you, he can't get away with it. Maybe now's not the time, yeah. Come on. Why wouldn't she want to make the allegation official? She was raped. What does it matter to you what Carrie does? She needs our support. Yeah. Getting into your stride, then. I think I'm getting the hang of it. Yeah. Stick with me, mate. You'll be fine. Listen, uh, just wait in the car a second. Go on. See you. Congratulations. First puppy walk. Yeah, cheers. Listen, what do you say we initiate the new boy? I don't know, you know. Normally I'd be up for it, but... Oh, come on. You know what I mean? A little practical joke. It'll go down a storm. I just don't think today's the day. What have the newspaper Sierra article Oscar, and everything? Sierra Oscar. Mail assorted in Antrim Street, over. Sierra Oscar 2 1 all received. Lance, mate, we've got a shout. Look, just think about it. It might give everyone the lift they need. Excuse me, please. What's the name of that bloke over there? Alan, Alan Mason. Cheers. Alan Mason. DC Drummond, Sun Hill CID, this is DS McAllister. How can I help? We want some background on a current investigation. Can you help? Sure, why not? Apparently you walk to work every day. Yeah. Past Coverston Trucks. Were you aware that there was a burglary there this morning? Nope. All right, what time do you get to work? The shift starts at eight. Ah, the boss said you were late. Half an hour. It's not a crime, I hope. No, but we've got your camera passing Coverston trucks twice. Once at ten past seven, and again 30 minutes later. Do you have a twin, Mr Macy? I forgot my wallet, didn't I? I was halfway here when I realised, so I hopped the bus home to fetch you. What number? I think it was the 496.
Do you want to check the bus routes or shall I? <laughs> I'm unlocked. Not much to go on. Right. He was flagged down about 7.30 this morning, yeah? When he got out of the cab, he was surrounded by three blokes and fellow drivers. One of them had like a baseball bat or something. Whack! Down he goes. They meant business. Yeah, it gets worse, mate. They tied him up and dumped him in his cab. A dog walker found him this morning, you know? And there's a pickup truck missing off the back of it. Hold on. That's the same company from before. Better contact Dave's McAllister. Sierra Oscar from 149. Yeah, the scene examiner's doing the necessary on the low loader as you speak. Right. Well, two hits on the same firm in one morning. It's not a coincidence, is it? Well, maybe we should be looking at an insider here, because the hijackers knew exactly what they were after. Yeah, well, they were handy with a driver, weren't they? Meaning they don't care how to get it. Cheers, Gary. So, um, how would you get on with the buses? Well, according to Canley Main Depot, the 496 goes along that road to Canley Centre on the hour, every hour. So the two sightings of Macy on CCTV are at 10 past 7 and 20 to 8. Which means he kind of got the bus home. Let's pay our friend Mr Macy another visit, shall we? Yeah. It's easy, right? All you've got to do is say that the lab phoned you. Can Lance go and pick up a sample of Thames water for analysis? But he'll get covered in mud. Well, that's it, innit? Oh, you're mean. He seems like a really nice lad. Oh, no. Looney Laffrey. Uh, 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 why don't I make a complaint? Rather you than me, mate. You all right, Roger? Keep watching the skies, mate. Hey, it's, it's got nothing to do with the skies. It, it, it's, it's the government. Right. Yes, Mr Laffrey. What's your problem? Um, I, I reported a crime this morning, and your officers say they failed in their, their, their duty to investigate. Look here. I've, uh, I've got evidence. I believe Kerry opened up to you about what happened between her and Smithy. Did you tell anyone? Not a soul. If somebody asked me to keep a secret, I'd keep it. Then how do you explain the rumour spreading like it did? Nothing to do with me. The only other person who knew was Gabriel. You work it out. Mom. Did you see any officers talking to the press yesterday? Not really. Between me and you, is there anyone you think might have leaked the story? This is just conjecture, right? Nothing you say gets outside this room. Gabriel, because he likes to mix things up. Apparently, Macy pulled a sickie just after he left. Do you think it was something we said? Hmm. Spooky, isn't it? Either they've got some high-powered microphones or someone's kissed and told. What do you reckon? I don't know. Whoever's done it can't have much loyalty to the relief. Can they? No. And it'd be a shame if Kerry didn't go through with the allegation just because of this article. Ah, P.C. Kent. I'm posting you to the Coal Lane estate today, so get your lift sorted out. I've already been posted to 2-2 two -two for the day, ma'am. Not anymore, and I'll get cracking. Would you mind telling me what P.C. Kent was talking to you about? The newspaper article, ma'am. Talking of which, I'd like to have a little chat with you about that later on. I'll tell you when. to pick up. Hold on. Whoa! Go on, Ken! Yeah? Are well, you feeling better? Yeah? Alan Macy, arresting you on suspicion of taking and driving a car. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence. You do not mention when questioned something which you later will learn in court. Oh, 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 oh,
What's going on? You were just messing about. Yeah, just having a laugh, that's all. It didn't look like that to me. Maybe you should get your eyes tested. <laughs> just make sure it doesn't happen again. Or it won't be so easy on you next time. Go on. Can I go now? Mr. Macy, at 11.30 a.m. today, we caught you driving an unregistered vehicle that, earlier in the morning, was stolen from Covenston Truck Depot. I take it you don't deny that you're in possession of the stolen vehicle? For the tape, please. <clears throat> no. Do you want to tell us why you were driving the vehicle? I stole it, didn't I? Honesty. I'm impressed. What about the other vehicles? What other vehicles? The two transit vans that were also taken from Commerson Truck Depot and the pickup that was taken from the low loader from the same firm. Don't know what you're talking about. Mr. Macy, the pickup you were caught driving was one of four stolen vehicles. We'd like to know what happened to the other three. Having a clue, mate? You understand the information you give us now could help you in court if you tell us who else was involved. Look, I don't know about any other vehicles. I just took the pickup. <sighs> So it's just a coincidence, is it, that some other criminals happen to steal from the same truck depot as you? Well, yeah. Come on, Mr Macy. I took the pick up, all right, but that's all I swear. I was on my way to work, the depot gate weren't shut like normal, so I went in, seen the office door open and helped myself to the keys. I don't know anything about any other vehicles. Mum, the new CPS lawyer's waiting in reception. He's not starting till next week. That's not what he thinks. Oh, all right. Well, we've got him in office, that's something. Let's get this over with. Jonathan Fox. Inspector Gold. Your cross-examination gave me nightmares for months. The Lydic murder trial. <laughs> yeah, and if my memory serves me correctly, you were the nightmare. That was quite a fight you put up in the witness box. Nevertheless, you broke me down in the end. No wonder you never lose. <laughs> There's a few I wish I had. Oh, where is he? Who? Our new CPS duty prosecutor. A headache I could really do without. Why do you say that? Well, my officers are trained to make judgment calls. They don't need nannying. Oh. I'm glad to hear it. Hey, what are you doing here? Well, I'm here to give you a headache. I'm the new CPS lawyer. Don't be embarrassed. It's good to hear your thoughts. Who's embarrassed? I don't believe in hiding my feelings, Mr Fox. I'll get someone to show you to your lovely new office. Wait a minute. Yeah, the office was a bit of a mess, you know, stunk of booze, keys all over the floor. It didn't take me long to find the right ones. No sign of who left it like that? I don't know. I thought maybe the geezer on the floor had done it. Who? Well, he was just bloke in a suit line on the floor, you know, snoring away drunk or something. Are you sure about this? Well, yeah. I had to step over them to get the keys. Who the hell's that? Didn't Gary say the owner was a bit worse for wear this morning? I was called here. We don't need the police, thank you. Someone called this I in. I said we can look after ourselves. Look, I have to make a report about this one way or the other. Knock yourself out. Thank you. Right, so, Mr. Um, or is it Mrs.? Steph. Steph Lewis. Don't talk to this idiot. It's not easy for him. You're going to be quick. Right. How long has this been happening? 
Two months ago, I lived as a man in jeans and trousers. It wasn't me, but we were safe. So, what's this for? The clinic wants me dressed like this 24-7 if I want the operation. Let's ask them for trouble around here. They like to know you mean it, and nothing impresses them like a bit of martyrdom. So why put yourself through all this? If you don't understand, I can't explain it. I'm late for the Residents Association. Look, if the same lads that keep doing this, I can help. Last time I pursued it with the police, it got worse. Thanks for trying. Bye. Mate. I got this chasing them noisy hooligans last week. I was hoping you'd nick them. Well, a neighbour like that's bound to invite trouble. Don't need any more grief from them lads. Well, can't the residents take action against these kids? They're not from the estate. Would you happen to know where they live? I know who one of them is. Bill Gadd. Did some plumbing for his dad. I can point you in the right direction. <sighs> Funny old business, isn't it? You lot, now that article's come out. Yeah, well, we'll get through it. Yeah, what a nightmare putting officers involved, though. Look, it just sounds like it shows some sense. Oh, not you as well. I don't want to talk about it, all right? What? Well, I think I know who the victim was. Yeah. Do we know who the suspect is? I wasn't going to ask her that, was I? OK, OK, so we're halfway there. We just need to find out who did it. Well, I know your stuff was delivered. Having a bad day? My day is just fine. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, you insult the CPS initiative to my face, and then somehow you lose my furniture. Not going great, is it? I know your furniture was delivered. I'll try and chase up the person who was meant to install it. Meantime, I'll just uh, sit on the floor and whistle. Well, we can set you up in the canteen for now. I'm sure we can arrange a telephone for you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, perhaps I can uh, serve the vegetables while I'm there. I mean, you don't really need me here. Well, I can put you in a little corner out of the way. You're not exactly embracing the Crown Prosecution Service, are you, Inspector? Bill Gadd? I asked you a question. Is your name Bill Gadd? Get out of my face. You've been harassing Steph Lewis. He's talking about Perv. <laughs> Freak. So why aren't you protecting us then, eh? We're only kids. I'm arresting you for criminal damage on council property. I haven't done nothing. Not so fast. Ah. Bingo. How come Mesa's story rings true? Well, a loser like that doesn't fit the M.O. at the depot or the hijacking. Well, we can't give you much longer than the TDA, unless he gives us the names of the others involved. We just have to charge him. Marilyn, who is that? That's Jonathan Fox, our new CPS lawyer. I thought he was starting next week. It's like a support network and social club in one. Um, beers and brubs, if you like. So how's the new puppy walker shaping up? Keen, isn't he? Yeah, that's Gary. Where is he? We're on refs. He's talking to Inspector Gard about the newspaper. Mm, bet you didn't know you're joining such a famous nick. Should want to have a conversation? Sorry. Let me guess. So, Lance, the Black Police Officers Association. Chris. No, cheers. No? No. Are you interested? Thanks, yeah, but the CPA is all I've got time for just now. Got to catch up with Gary, yeah? Later. CPA? Christian Police Association. Heard of them? Oh. The stolen pickups solid enough for a TDA charge. You'll need more evidence to charge him for the other vehicles, I'm afraid. So we charge him and bail him. Sorry to disappoint you. We'll see about that. There you go. You're in court next Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. Don't get smart. But take my advice. Never muscle in on anybody else's crime, right? Go on. Yeah, what did Gary say? Maggie Black, the secretary, never mentioned a man on the floor. Well, did you tell Gary about Macy's description of the guy lying on the floor? No, he said it sounded like the owner, Mr. Leonard. He was supposedly at a conference. Well, why don't we ask him? Mm. Oh, come on, it's traditional. I've got a prisoner. It won't take a second, honest. What's the plan? 
Right. You bring Lance into custody, yeah? How? Just say you're showing him round or something. I'll be on a chair behind the door. He comes in, splash everywhere. Yeah, yeah, sounds good to me. What do you think, mate? Yeah. Nice one. Thank you, Black. This is D.S. McAllister. I'm V.C. Drummond. Well, how can I help you? We have a witness who claims to have seen a man lying on the floor before you arrived for work. Witness? For what witness? We've got the man that stole the 4x4 pickup, but he's got nothing to do with the transits or the truck taken off the low loader. Is Mr. Leonard in? Well, no, he's in hospital. What? He was in pain all morning and then he passed out during a test drive. Have you noticed we're making everybody ill today? Inspector Gould's investigating the leak. I'll keep my head down, but it looks like they want to point the finger at someone. Selling another story? <laughs> Sorry? I'm not an idiot, Andrea. Someone leaked that story, and the guiltiest looking person here today is you. PC Dunbar! I'm ready for you now. Ma'am. Mr. Leonard. It's all part of the service, isn't it? The nurse said that you'd been hit on the head, Mr. Leonard. Yeah. Some hijinks after the conference last night. Must be very hijinks, we're not with a fractured skull. Don't remember much, to be honest. You caught anyone yet? The investigation's still ongoing. So, these shenanigans, they happened in the hotel? Yeah. Everyone ties a few on at these do's. Things always get a bit wild, you know? Your secretary, Miss Black, booked you a room. But when we called the hotel, they told us that you never checked in. We do have a possible sighting of you last night, Mr. Leonard. But it wasn't in Birmingham. It was on the floor of your office. So as far as you're concerned, you've not seen anyone from the relief talking to journalists? No, ma'am. And you weren't aware of anyone acting suspiciously yesterday? Right, that's about it then. You all right, Andrea? Yes, I'm fine, ma'am. Why? You just seem a little nervous, that's all. No, I'm fine. Um, <clears throat> may I ask, what will happen now? Well, I've got a couple of other officers to talk to. PC Stam, PC Kent. Right. Look, if you know something, you should tell me. I haven't been entirely honest, ma'am. Go on. I did see this one reporter yesterday, hassling everyone. But there was only one PC who paid him any attention. Who was it? PC Kent. I didn't go to Birmingham because I was meant to be taking Maggie. Understand? You two playing away? It was going to be our first proper date, but she got qualms at the last minute, you know. But you can't win them all. So why were you at the office? I'd already told my wife about the business too. I didn't fancy being at home, so I kept down the office sofa. You obstructed a police investigation for a quiet life. You can't put a juvenile into authority care without something more substantive than a single criminal damage offence. Silly, that I don't have to tell you that. Well, come on, you can help us out, can't you? I'm not here to twist the law to suit your personal crusade, PC Kent. I'll take that. Bill Gant is a mess. Let him go, we'll just carry on where he left off. Look, you're not letting him go. You've got enough evidence for criminal damage. Just submit the papers in the normal way. You look a little worried. Gina gold on to you as well, is she? What makes you say that? Well, she asked to see you about something. For your information, she's asking everyone on the relief about the press leak. Now, whatever you might think, I've got a clear conscience. Perhaps you should get your story straight. 
Pissy Kent. Can I word? I chugged down a bottle of whiskey, so I wasn't at my sharpest. This banging woke me up. I got off the sofa, saw these blokes in hoods, and down I went. What did they hit you with? Well, it wasn't a fist, I can tell you that. Balaclavas and bats, same as the hijacking. Do you remember anything else? Accent, aftershave? It's all a bit hazy. I went in and out of consciousness for a while. I remember one of them was on their mobile. What did he say? Something about there wasn't meant to be anyone here, you know? Real narky. Sounds like an inside job. Do you think any of your staff members might have been in on this? I've got 40 odd drivers coming in. It could have been any of them. How long has Maggie Black been with you? Don't be ridiculous. Come on. Three months, but, but look. There are still feelings between us, but just slowing things down. Thanks for your help. Just to let you know, I'm posting you to the coal end estate indefinitely. So I suggest you make it nice and cosy for yourself. Is this a result of your investigation into the press leak, ma'am? Oh, you've heard then? Just putting two and two together. No wonder you wanted me out of the way. I don't like whispers in corners, PC Kent. Well, it seems you've already decided who your leak is. Don't let anything like evidence get in the way. Ma'am. If I had evidence, you'd be out that door like a shot. Let's just say that your name has cropped up quite a few times today, that's all. Circumstantial. I don't suppose there's any point in telling you who the real culprit is. Only if your evidence is rock solid. I'll find it. Yeah, well, some time away does wonders for the perspective. Will that be all? Well? She hasn't got the foggiest. Apparently Maggie Black packed her stuff and did a runner as soon as we left. Right, well, I've got BIU to check out Maggie's background. Her address is in the file. See if she's at home. Right, I'm sorry. Come! Oh, what now, Mr Fox? Thank you for sorting the office. It'll do. We're all happy, then. Well, now you mention it. I don't appreciate your officers venting their frustrations on me. Who are we talking about? Your PC Kent. That's some chip he's got. I'll have a word with him. Is that all? You uh, flout the smoking rags, huh? So? Won't mind if I join you. Make yourself at home. Thank you. Hi. Have you seen my dad? No. He hasn't come back from the Residents Association yet. He should be here. As a barrister, I helped a lot of dangerous people to walk. You start not to like yourself after a while. Well, some of them must have been innocent. <sighs> not my clients. They were in court for good reasons. Luckily, they could afford to have me in their corner. But don't you miss the bus? You a fan? Does a pope pray? I used to box. See, winning a fight, that, that's a pure buzz. When Ali danced, it, it wasn't to please the crowd, it was to put his man down. Court's all about pleasing the crowd. I've been telling myself it couldn't be you, but it is, isn't it? What? I saw you boxing for the Smith Trophy. When was it? 71. You really follow the fights? Oh, since I was so high. My dad used to run a ringside tote in Bow. You have had an odd career path, haven't you? I'm an interesting bloke, if you get to know me. Oh. Well, who's not here today? That is the question. Hey? Any officer suspected of rape would be suspended, yeah? Well, I'm not interested, all right. Yeah, I just noticed that uh, Smithy's not here today. A lot of officers aren't in today, so what? Yes, but I checked the road till, and the only name that's been crossed off is Smithy. That proves nothing. Anyway, the bet's off. What? No, 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 we can't do that. No, 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 once we start, we've got to finish. And if I'm right about this, it's payout time for DC Drummond. 
Maggie's landlord told me that she'd asked for a deposit back. She's gone. No forwarding, nothing. Behind yeah, you going through. This is good. Maggie Blatt was charged six years ago for assisting an offender, and in this case, faking an alibi for her own brother. She was acquitted. He went down. Who's her brother? One Jason Black, a prom nom who specialises in armed robbery. Got out seven months ago. You're right. This is good. Sarge. Busy. I think you should hear this. Cheers. The Coverston truck team have struck again. Where? Cool bomb plant. Three men in balaclavas overcame the driver of a low loader, drove it away. In broad daylight? What was on the loader? Mechanical digger. <gasps> this can't be happening. Stay close to me, all right? Dad? Steph? Dad! Sarah Oscar from 416. Yeah. Ambulance That's required. Not. Coal Lane Estate. <laughs> How you doing? Look, I'll pop by the hospital later. I'll come and get a statement, alright? They hit Coverston trucks at approximately 6 a.m. this morning. Pickup was lifted here an hour and a half later. They must have stashed the transit somewhere nearby. Maybe they used them to drive between the two hits. And even at that time in the morning, an unregistered van would stand out like a sore thumb. No time to fix the license place, so it's my guess they got the vehicles under cover as soon as they could. Now, the Corbin plant is here, so it's likely that somewhere in this triangle is where they stashed the vehicles. Now, that's not very much, is it? Go. Jason Black's probation officer hasn't heard from him in over two weeks. Run Black through PNC and Crimin, see if they've got anything new on him. Let's hope this little spree is over. If you give me a statement about these kids, I can arrest them this afternoon. Great. Then I'd have the parents beat me up. I know which I'd prefer. You can't let them off the hook this time. No court's going to bang up a minor for giving a freak a slap and they know it. They'll be out in no time. Not if we put the evidence together properly. This is what happens when the police get involved. I'm not putting this through that again. Mark, what are you doing? I want you to wear trousers when we go out. You know I can't do that. Just for now. Then we'll move. The council will put somewhere where this isn't going to happen. We can't let these animals force you out. And what do we do when you go home at night? Look, Mark. I'll ring Mum. You can stay with her for a bit. I don't want you being up again, Dad. I can't handle it. Mm. At last. I am starving. Sorry if I ruined your little joke. Yeah, mate, forget about it. If I hadn't caught you when I did, I would have walked right into it. Well, can we just change the subject? OK. Any unit go to the rear of Icona Road. The informant Roger Laffrey has seen persons acting suspiciously. That's just around the corner. Uh, Laffrey's just a whip. What'd you say? Nothing. Well, you can handle this one on your own. Are you sure? Yeah, mate. Yeah, go for it. Bad news. Another blank in the Coverson Trucks case. Unregistered motors, wasn't it? Yeah. I've had this bloke call in a couple of times. He's a known fruitcake called Roger Laffrey. Says he's seen a number of unregistered vehicles pass his window. Where? Yeah. Oh, fans uh, and trucks. They, they, they've been gathering up all day. They, they're getting ready for something. Why'd you say that? All units here <laughs> Oscar RTA on three. I've turned it off. What are you saying about these vans? Well, no, no, none of them got any number plates. I mean, what's that say to you? Where are these vehicles going? Um, past me out and around the back, there's, there's a warehouse. I see lights in there sometimes. Um, out there from my back window. Okay, I'll, I'll have a look. 
Gary. How'd you get on, mate? Mr. Laffrey's pretty sure something's going on behind his house. I'm gonna take a look. Yeah, mate, whatever you think, you know, just give us a call if you need any backup. Alright, see you later. See you later. All units stay away from the warehouses at the rear of Icona Road. Off limits pending a CID operation. 363 from 149, urgent message. Three six three from one four nine. If you can hear me, mate, get out of there. Blunt, please hear this, mate. Come back. Actually. Ah, DC Perkins, I'm glad I caught you. Sir. Something I've got to talk to you about. Half an hour ago? Sure. Somehow it doesn't sound too good. It's not great. You lost us every advantage we had. Not a very good start, PC Pal. No, sir. Gary, what were you thinking of? Well, Gary warned me to stay out. I had my PR turned down. This is all my fault. Um, I'll come back. No, come in, Terry. We'll discuss this later. That's all for now. Thanks for your time, Terry. Take a seat. Sure. <clears throat> what are you thinking, Gov? I'm thinking there's a lot more to this than mixed the eye. What do you mean? Well, the vans and the digger have no value to a criminal like Jason Black, except maybe as tools for another crime. Got a feeling we haven't seen the last of Mr. Black. Listen, I'm sorry I messed everything up for you this evening. <sighs> yeah, well, it's a career's worth of cock ups on one go, I suppose. But keep your head down, mate. Lance? Uh, maybe you can pay your dues? Sure, anything. Help me out, mate. The officers referred to in that newspaper article... You mean Sergeant Smith and P.C. Young? P.C. Young? I thought everyone knew. Yeah, yeah, of course they did, yeah. Y you know what, actually, um, doesn't matter, mate. Cheers. Cheers. something you don't. Oh, how many more times? I'm not interested, all right. What? For all you know, you could be up by a tenner. I'm still not interested. Really? Not even if I was to tell you that it was Smithy who allegedly raped Kerry. Mmm. Now I think you owe me, uh, ten pounds. No, 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 no. You're only half right, you see. You got the Smithy bit, but you didn't get the Kerry bit, okay? <laughs> all right, then, make it a five then. Sure. Done. Is this how you two sickos get your kicks, is it? Hmm? Making sordid bets on who's been raped. Where's my money? You've been requested for a job, and I need your answer as soon as possible. I like to think that I wouldn't ask my officers to go anywhere I wouldn't go myself. Well, what is it, sir? We want you to go undercover. I know the feeling. Sorry? 
You look like I did after my first day here. Yeah, except I'm sure you didn't get a telling girl from the superintendent on your first day. Oh, you're right. Yours is worse than mine. I just wanted to make a good impression, especially with Superintendent O'Carroll. Believe me, I'm sure he's got more important things to worry about. I know, it's just all through my training, he was a sort of role model. I have a lot of respect for him. And now what must he think of me? Listen, I'll tell you what. Why don't you let me buy you a drink? You can drown your sorrows. That'd be good. Okay. If I do, that's the day I come looking for you. See you, Benny. I don't think you realise what you're asking me to do. What prison would it be? Hayes End. Terry, this is a very important operation. There's a lot riding on it. If you have any doubts, you have a choice. You don't have to do this. Tell him I'll do it. Next time on The Bill. We've got you listed here as a vulnerable. We suspect that nine years ago, Morsey lured two boys to a caravan where he raped and murdered them. I hear through the grapevine that you were liking for young boys. And? And I partake in the hobby too.